Oh my god, I forgot primer. Whatever. I feel like I haven't filmed in so long. I just feel like I haven't really been updating you guys on my life and stuff in my videos. But basically, I had a midterm on Monday and I don't think it went well. But that's because I literally had a concert the day before. I had Keshi's concert and I bought those tickets in like October. So at the time, I didn't know I was going to have a midterm the day after. And honestly, this situation just gave me flashbacks to N Hypen's concert. If you guys watched my N Hypen concert vlog, you would remember that I had a midterm like a few days after the N Hypen concert. I always have the worst luck when it comes to timing with concerts and like school stuff. After the Keshi concert, I came home at like 1 a.m. and I was so tired because because I was standing up for seven hours straight since I got sound check and GA. I didn't sit once during the seven hours of waiting and like the concert. So yeah, my legs were killing me. I was just so tired, but I knew I had to start studying once I got home from the concert because before the concert, I didn't look at anything that had to do with the midterm. I just chugged an energy drink when I got home from the concert and studied till like 7.30 a.m. But obviously nothing was really registering into my brain because you know the feeling after you come back from concerts, you're like head empty and just like every part of your body hurts. I'm just glad that midterm is over. I don't regret going to Kashi's concert even though I potentially could have like failed my midterm because he's one of my favorite artists and I've been listening to him for so long so being able to see him live and hear his songs live was so surreal that was just a little update today I only have a 2 30 p.m lecture honestly second year is almost over for me because my last exam is now in a month I'm so excited for school to be over and for summer to come because I have so many fun things planned for summer of course I'm gonna vlog all of it for you guys My front pocket of my bag is so messy. You can literally find anything in here. I am back home, but I wanted to do a haul of a bunch of cute stationery items and just cute items in general that I got from Timu. You guys might remember that I worked with Timu in one of my past videos, but I'm so happy to be working with them again because I love their site. There's so many cute things to choose from, like room decor, stationery. In case you don't know what Timu is, it's basically an online marketplace that offers really affordable prices. Also for spring, Timu is having a massive site-wide sale. You can head to timu.com now for discounts up to 90% off. Also, if you guys are interested in any of the items that I show, you can check my description box down below and you guys can also use my code OFF4923 for discounts. So Timu offers free shipping and free returns for up to 90 days. They also accept all major debit and credit cards, electronic payments, and pay later programs. This time I chose a lot of cute stationery items as well as accessories so I can't wait to show you guys. So the first stationery item that I chose are these notepads. I came in a pack of so many and they're bear themed. They're so cute. These are great to use for school because I always write to-do lists when I have a lot of like assignments and deadlines piling up. Next, I got this X-Acto knife and it's in a heart shape. The next stationery item is the cutest thing ever. It is this Hello Kitty stapler. When I saw this on Timu, I was like, oh my god, like I have to get this. I still didn't add the staples into the stapler, but I also got this pack of highlighters. And again, they are so cute. They're, they're very small, so it'd be, oh my god. They're very small, so it'd be easy to take to school if you don't have a big pencil case. I also got another notepad. This one is so pretty. I love the design and like the bordering. Next, I got this random assorted sticker pack. And there's just so many different stickers in here. 
but they're all so cute and then i have these tweezers for getting the stickers off i noticed a lot of people who do like journaling and decorating use these now i have this which can be used as a pencil case or even a makeup bag but it's fuzzy and it's like a little i don't know not bare but like rabbit i also have this notebook this one looks very minimalistic and aesthetic it also has these dividers if you want to use it for different subjects for school and then i have this little pouch which i wanted for storing like my makeup gum and other stuff that i take to school i also have this cute little pencil holder next i have this laptop stand i like how this one is white i also got a lot of keychains this time because I have a mild obsession over cute keychains. So this one is a cinema roll one. It's probably not like official Sanrio merch, but... And then I have this one, which I think is a cat. And it's wearing like a Pumopang hat. I actually saw this exact keychain on Pinterest a lot, so I've always been wanting it. And then I got this little rabbit. Now for items that aren't stationary, I have these socks these ones are so like dainty looking i also got a phone case this one looks so unique i love it and it also has cats here i got this which is a cat paw pop socket isn't this the cutest thing ever and i love how squishy it is i didn't think it would be squishy i also got this really big makeup storage bag now for some accessories i'm wearing one necklace right now it looks like that it's so dainty and pretty i also have this necklace which i think is so pretty look at all the charms and the detailing i also got this heart bracelet and then i have this little keychain which i think is for your phone you can put it right here I've always wanted this corduroy miffy and I happened to find like a dupe on Timu. The last item that I have is this little room decor of a bunny. You're meant to put stuff on this like your car keys. So that is everything that I got from Timu and if you guys are interested in any of the products that I showed, you can check the links in my description box down below. I have to organize and put everything away that I got from Timu but I thought I might as well just do a whole clean out of my desk and like my drawers because they are very messy and I haven't cleaned them out since like high school. Like the drawers right here. In this drawer I have like a bunch of random scrap paper from high school and probably middle school so i'm just gonna get rid of everything <gasps> i just found this old notebook and this is from like i don't even know i think when i was like eight or nine this used to be my piano book because i used to play piano and i would have to practice like 10 times for each piece because i was like in level 10 in arct so it was really hard and my piano teacher made me practice 10 times for each piece so I can memorize it. It was low-key traumatic. So yeah, this notebook holds a lot of memories. I would always draw in it when I took breaks while playing piano. As you can see, I drew a bunch of different Pokemon characters because at the time I was like obsessed with Pokemon. Here it says 2012. This is actually so funny to look at now. As you can see, I wrote like all the numbers. I would have to circle them every time I finished practicing once or twice. And then I wrote like, I hate piano here. <laughs> this is how much I practiced, oh my god. This is from 2016. I feel like a lot of you guys don't know that I did used to play piano. I played from when I was five years old till grade 11. I quit in grade 11 because it got too hard. I did up to the ARCT level, which is past like level 10. I honestly did not enjoy piano. I actually hated it. It low-key ruined my childhood, but it was a big part of my life. That was so random, but I got reminded because of this notebook. These are all my papers from like functions and advanced functions. And we have this now, I'm like, I don't even know how to do it. I don't even know what's in this. It's like a bunch of random pencils and pens I don't even use. I have a page and it says fave sad anime. A silent voice, Anohana, erased your line, April, Rave of the Fireflies. Oh my god, guys, you'll never guess what I just found. I found my hard copy ticket from the BTS concert. I don't know why seeing this just made me so emotional, but it says BTS World Tour. Love yourself. It was September 20th, 2018. That's so long ago. Oh my god. I swear this picture of Jake always reappears randomly in my room. Oh my god, I found my reed because I used to play clarinet in middle school and high school. Oh my 
god, what is this? I just finished clearing out all of the drawers. Oh wait, what? I didn't see this. Wait, what is this? Oh my god, I just remembered. This is like this time capsule project we had to do in grade 10. We had to write a letter to ourselves and I remember my teacher was like, read this in the future. Wait, this is so weird because I genuinely forgot about this and I haven't read this in so long. I'm not even making this up. It was hidden there and I almost didn't even take it out. As you can see, it's from September 7th, 2018. I'm going to read it right now. I didn't even realize my hair looked like this. The first question I had to answer was how do you feel about being in grade 10? The next question was what do you think you will accomplish by the end of the school year? I wrote, I hope I accomplish getting the French award. Also, I hope I accomplish doing well in hurdles for track and field. I don't even do hurdles anymore, so, or track and field what career are you thinking of at this time i'm thinking of either a career in business or law if i go into business i am into the marketing industry oh my god wait i actually just predicted my future because i went to a business school and i'm gonna be specializing in marketing next year if i go for a law i would like to be a lawyer <laughs> what are your strengths my strengths consist of musical talents i think i am talented musically i play the piano and clarinet and for piano i'm in level arct not only playing but i can identify rhythms and tones just by listening by ear why am i like trying to bring someone the ninth question was what are your weaknesses my weaknesses are that i'm impatient lazy and negative i still am all three of those i am extremely lazy when it comes to just anything i like to stay in bed doing nothing <laughs> the last question was what is your greatest accomplishment and then i wrote my biggest accomplishment was when i took my level 10 piano exam i practiced six months to memorize seven pieces theory many scales and ear training during the preparation there were so many times where I wanted to give up, but I didn't. They're all empty now. So I'm gonna organize everything into these drawers. It looks so organized. I just finished cleaning out all my drawers and that took longer than I expected. I'm going to show you guys how clean it is now. This is the first drawer and I just put all of my stationary items. These are all my notepads. Then I also added the new ones from Timu. Here I put all of my new stuff from Timu, like my highlighters, the Hello Kitty stapler. I have all of my stickers in here. This is my K-pop anime kind of pile. The next drawer, I have all of my glasses. This was much needed because all of my glasses were so unorganized. They were just cluttered in my closet and I couldn't find like half of them. Here I put all of my phone cases. In the third drawer, I have all of these pictures, all of my photo booth pictures from Korea and a bunch of old Polaroids from middle school and then my BTS pile. <laughs> in here, I just put a bunch of cute stuff from Timu. In the last drawer, I have all of my like tech camera gear and my desk is also finally so clean because you couldn't see the white part of it for so long. It's my mom's birthday in about a week, so I'm gonna go shopping for her gift right now with my sister. This is my first time wearing this maxi skirt out from Aritzia. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Today is a very important but also very nerve-wracking day for me. Today is my exchange ceremony. Basically, if you guys don't know, I applied to my school's exchange program back in November. If you guys remember from my vlog, I talked about it. But today, they're finally announcing which school we got paired with. I'm kind of scared that I didn't get a school that I wanted because we had to list at least like 10 schools. So you can honestly get any school on that list. I'm not going to reveal yet which schools I applied to. I'll share with you guys the results after. I'm nervous because my school's exchange program is really competitive, especially the country and schools that I applied to. Are are popular choices so it's not easy to get your first choice the whole exchange application process was also pretty hard there were a lot of steps you had to like submit a video write a paper and do an interview anyways i'm going to school a bit earlier right now because i have to work on a group project before the ceremony happens so look at how cute this keychain is i put it on my bag Changing it was regardless. Even if you don't get your first choice, or maybe you get your fifth choice, the experience of exchange and going is like changing. Oh, yeah, I'm actually so nervous. I'm nervous too. <laughs> I'm like refreshing my phone, like, don't stop. You got it? What school did you get? Back. With my sister, I can't see. But we're walking to get macarons from my mom. Is that mom. the pump? Is that playing this music? But we're walking. <laughs> but we're walking right now to get macarons for my mom's birthday. It's her birthday today, so we're going out for dinner later. But I didn't get to film my reaction or the aftermath of the exchange ceremony. It was just too hectic. So basically, I didn't get my top choice, which I am honestly completely fine with because I got my top four choice. For my top three choices, it was all the same country, just different schools. And that country was Singapore. So yeah, my top choice was Singapore. But at my school, especially, it's so competitive because so many people want Singapore and put that as their first choice as well. Also, at my school, they give priority to IBBA students and and fourth years basically ibba is international business and i'm just regular like bba for ibba you have to go on exchange in order to graduate so obviously they're going to get priority i'm still so happy with the school that i got and the country that i got and i don't know why i'm not revealing it right now i just feel like i want to wait a little longer until i reveal it because i am going on exchange in 2024 i don't know i think it'll just be more fun for you guys so you can guess where i'm going and closer to date i'll actually reveal which school and which country I'm going to. Of course, I'm gonna vlog my whole exchange experience. I'm so excited to do that. It's gonna be like a whole new series on my channel. But just a hint, the school that I got is located in Asia. It's also a very well-known school. So now I'm actually really glad that I got this choice instead of my first choice because I was always kind of debating between Singapore 
or the country that I got. I'm just so excited to go on exchange in general and study abroad because that's such a once in a lifetime experience and it's gonna be something so new for me. I have till April 10th to accept the offer. For the exchange program, we can either choose fall or winter semester and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna go for winter. So it's gonna be in 2024. I'm like 90% sure I'm gonna accept the offer. I just don't know like 100%. I will keep you guys updated. Anyways, that is pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you for watching. I will see you next time.